All right, YouTube, in this video, we're going to show you the best blitz in Man 23, at least the most adaptable blitz that you can use for Gun Bunch, defending Gun Bunch, which is the most popular formation this year. Now, if you want to learn the entire Big Nickel Over G defense, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon, and that gets you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We have nine ebooks in the Patreon right now. All of them are going to be updated this week, which I'm really excited about. And then we're also bringing you guys even more ebooks over the course of the next couple weeks. So, a lot of really good stuff over at the Patreon. Today we're going to show you one of the in most interesting blitzes that I found all year for if they block a running back out of bunch. I think this is a really, really simple defense, but at the same time really effective. So pinch blitz is the base setup. Now you could run this blitz and literally not do anything because ideally you're only you're running this because they're going to block their running back. So you'll see here this blitz just works and you can get double edge pressure pretty easy. Okay. Now we've shown that tip before, but what we haven't shown is this more adjusted version of this blitz where basically we do this. So if they're consistently blocking a running back, we're going to man the running back up with the defensive tackle that is on the running back side. And then on the back side of this, we can drop zones. It doesn't matter. So we can put everybody um, or we can put the defensive tackle on the right side into a bluff blitz. And then what you can see here is if they block a running back, a lot of times you're going to get pressure off of the right side of the screen. Now, something simple that you could do if you wanted to, just to kind of free your user up a little bit, is you could just man this defensive tackle up on the running back and then just leave it at that. And what you'll see here is a lot of times that running back will suck inside and that edge blitzer off of the left side will be able to pretty consistently come in. Um, you know, again, sometimes these blitzes in practice, but I will say are a little finicky. Um, but there you see, see how he sucks in and then I get a quick shed animation with that edge blitzer. That's kind of the worst case scenario, uh, with this defense, honestly. Um, and again, you got to get kind of down in here with your user. Of course, uh, I'm kind of like being a little bit more passive, but you'll see here, here's me getting down with my user and you see how he gets that quick shed animation right to the quarterback. Okay. It's really hard to step up in this pressure. Um, it's really You really have to make a quick read, uh, and that's really one of the many reasons why this is one of the best blitzes um, you know, in the game. And again, you, know, you have this right side pressure as well that's going to come fairly well as well. Okay, so another thing that you can do to kind of adjust out of this this specific pressure is let's say that they're sending their running back out on a route consistently. You might want to do something like this where we're going to blitz this. We're going to use this guy now. We're going to have the running back manned up. And then we're just going to take that nickel corner and man him up on the tight end. And you see how we can start to adjust out of this, right? So we could drop a lot of zones over here now. And we can push really nice edge pressure off the left. You see, that was a three-man pressure off of the left side. And we're able to drop zones in behind it. So you can kind of honestly, like, you know, do this a lot. Like, let's say you want to do... Let's say we want to do something like this, and we want to have, you know, again, they're going to block their running back, right? You can see that sometimes this pressure will come in. It didn't come in right there for us, unfortunately. But sometimes that right side pressure, when you man up that safety, or also when you man up this defensive end or defensive tackle. So, like, in this example, we're going to man up the defensive end on the running back. And then from here... <coughs> excuse me, we can uh, drop this guy maybe in a zone and kind of adapt this blitz to our opponent. Now, the reason I'm saying over and over again, adapt the blitz to what they're doing, this is the base structure of a defense. It's a cover zero blitz, which is really meta this year. It's really one of the better ways to play, but we can adjust the structure behind it and we could turn it into, you know, something like this, which actually is a really good, um, you know, a really, really good defense. You could do something, you know, like this out of this and now we're in a max coverage defense, even though we were in just a moment ago a pressure defense. Now you're in a max coverage. You got the best sheds in the game out of Big Nickel. And as you can see, if they have to start blocking people, this is kind of how the chess match of the game starts to unravel on them. So this is a really, really good blitz specifically for Bunch because it's so well aligned. Um, against formations like Bunch. And that's why Big Nickel Over G, one of the me many reasons why uh, Big Nickel Over G is such a powerful formation, um, especially against Bunch, because you could do something like this right here. And if they drop that, if they drop their running back into cover it or into a route, you just have to go kind of pop over here and take that away. And as you can see, everything else is pretty much guarded. You have a zone, um, you, but you also get an additional player over here on the left that you can use. So you could do something like this um whoops you could do something like this and then if you wanted to have you could use or this guy here and send the pressure off of the bunch side 
and if they're sending five out consistently, this is a pretty good little pressure here, and everything on the left side is going to be bagged. So the bottom line is pitch blitz is probably the best blitz in the game because it combines the double edge pressure from the nickel or the slot corners uh, with really good D-line animations. And then you can pair that with, you know, something like this if they block a running back. And you see that this five-man pressure is really, 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 really consistent. So wanted to just kind of elaborate on how you can adjust out of this defense as well as not just the blitz, it's also the adjustments behind it that make the blitz very effective. So I would really encourage you to check out our Big Nickel Over GE book where we go over not only how to adjust out of this, this specific defense, but we show you other blitzes as well that are really effective for situations like Max Protect or situations like they're um, you know not blocking anybody. How can we make it a little easier on ourselves? Yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get into the Patreon to get all the ebooks, 10 bucks a month unlocks everything. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you over at the Patreon. Sign up link is in the description below.